everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today I'm going to talk to you about the time that I got my wisdom teeth out, and hopefully give you some insight into what you should do diabetes-wise if you are getting this done. Let me just start off by saying that I hate the dentist. I hate going, I hate how they like put their hands in your mouth and they're all like, Ugh, all up in there. <laughs> I've never liked it. I used to cry every time I went to the dentist. I've gotten over that, thankfully. <laughs> But I still don't enjoy it. And my first dentist told me that I wouldn't need to get my wisdom teeth out. And I was like, yay. He like said I had enough room in my mouth for them. And then I saw a different dentist and he said, yeah, you should probably get those out. And I was like, hmm. But he said I only had to get out the bottom ones. Surprisingly, I guess my top ones have enough room. So I did that about, I don't know, nine months ago. First of all, when you go to get your wisdom teeth out, you go to this pre- surgery appointment type of thing where they kind of look at your teeth and they take x-rays and see where they're at so they know the position that they're in and how they're going to take them out and they kind of talk to you about the procedure and what kind of options you have for like um, being sedated and stuff and so at this appointment just be sure to talk to your dentist about your diabetes I was just sure to bring up that I have type 1 diabetes and that means that it is possible that I could have a low blood sugar during the exam. So of course he's had diabetic patients before and really the only advice he gave me as far as diabetes goes is that he said to keep your blood sugar on the sugary side. That's how he put it. So in my mind I was like okay so he wants me to run a little bit high. So my goal for that morning was to be between like 180 and 200. And for some reason, the dentist decided that I didn't need to be knocked out at all for the appointment. I've heard of a lot of people that get like laughing gas and they're unconscious for the whole thing, but not me. I was awake for the entire thing and I just had my mouth numbed, but besides that I was completely conscious. I felt everything. I felt like I was completely there. All he gave me was this one pill and he said it wasn't for pain or anything. It's literally just to calm any nerves that you have. And with this pill you weren't supposed to eat like I think it was 12 hours in advance so I just didn't eat from like the night before till the morning up and I'm pretty sure I took that pill I was like debating I was like if it's just for nerves like why would I even take it but I think I did take it the reason you're not supposed to eat is because you can throw up I guess during the procedure or something I don't remember the exact reasons I'm not a dentist but basically it was if you did throw up nothing would be thrown up the problem was the night before at like 11 o'clock I was about 115 and dropping and I have a photo of this this was like within the time limit that I wasn't supposed to eat but I was like well diabetes calls so I had some juice I think and I called it good and nothing happened and it was fine so obviously if you need to have something because of a low, do that please. Um, I think juice would be the best option so that if you do throw up, it's just juice. I also opted to have my mom come to the appointment with me. Usually they have someone take you anyway so that they can drive you home, but um, I especially wanted her there to be able to look at my Dexcom. So my Dexcom is my continuous glucose monitor and I thought this would be perfect. I have this and she can look at it during the exam and she can make sure that my blood sugar is staying okay. So that was super helpful to have her there and to have her looking at that. Cause she kind of like took over my diabetes care and we made sure to bring a glucagon with us just in case I did go low. Um, you don't have to give the whole glucagon. You can actually just pull up a little bit of it into a regular syringe. And so it won't make you throw up like the full dose would be if you passed out. But if you just are low and you can't eat for some reason, you can give a little bit to help you um, without causing that crazy reaction that's only for if you pass out. So we had glucagon, we had snacks like always, but obviously they're going to be up in my mouth, so that'd be really hard to eat, and I had my insulin pump, of course. And I think before we started the procedure, I was about where I wanted to be. I said I wanted to be between like 180 and 200, and I think I was at like, I think I was 190 something, I'm pretty sure. So they got in there and did their thing. I listened to music in my headphones and I kept my eyes closed like the whole time because I really didn't want to see them pulling out this bloody tooth from my mouth and um, it went really well. This one part was funny because we had obviously been talking before the um, procedure and then once they got started he was like, are you okay? The dentist was like, are you okay? Like you got really quiet all of a sudden and I'm thinking, well you're ripping teeth out of my mouth. You want me to talk during this or something? You want a conversation to go on? Uh, weird. And crazily enough, one of my teeth, I guess, was turned a little bit the way it was coming in, and so he actually had to break it in half before he took it out. And like I said, I was fully conscious the whole time, so I 
heard my tooth crack in half. So that was fun. But surprisingly, the procedure itself wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I was really, really nervous beforehand that it was going to be traumatizing and awful, but really, it was just a lot of shots in my mouth. It was probably at least 20, I think, because they numb it, and then as they cut deeper into it, they numb that part as they get deeper and deeper, which is great because you don't feel them cutting, but you feel all those shots. But what helped me is that my dentist told me every single time he was going to do one, and so me as a diabetic, I'm used to getting shots and stuff, so... As long as I knew it was coming, my brain could prepare itself as it usually does, and I was like, okay, here's another one, okay, here's another one, and they like numb your whole mouth. So, that was probably the worst part of the actual thing. But my mom was looking at my Dexcom the whole time, and my numbers were great, I was, I think I was stable the whole time. So nothing bad there. But we were prepared just in case anything happened. Now, as far as the recovery goes, the recovery was actually worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, the procedure was better than I thought, but the recovery was worse. In my mind, I was... For some reason thinking, oh, like three days, then I'll be pretty much good, it'll be fine. It took me like a week, week and a half to fully heal and feel like I could go back to like talking comfortably and eating comfortably and all of that. And it was just a long time. Here's all the foods that I bought for my period recovering. Here's a picture of them. I had a lot of Diet Coke, I had a lot of little Starbucks Frappuccinos for the mornings. Um, a lot of yogurt and pudding, and after a while, you just get so tired of those. And it just, like, is really uncomfortable. It's hard to talk, it's hard to eat, obviously, and it's hard to smile. And I never realized how much smiling affects your mood, actually, because I was like... Like, my mood started to get lower, and, like, I started to feel less happy and stuff because I couldn't smile. And I was like, wow, just smiling increases your mood. That's crazy. So... As far as blood sugar goes, um, I actually went low a lot, and I think this is because of two things. It's partly probably because you're eating less, kind of, you know, like, you're hungry and everything, but it's, it's hard to eat <laughs> because it's, even the soft food is uncomfortable, but anyway, so you're eating less, so that really shouldn't affect you because your basil should be just covering for when you're not eating. But that could have been part of it. But I think the main thing that made me go low is actually all of the pain meds I was taking. I was taking some really strong stuff. Um, one of the big ones. I forgot they're called. I'll put the name after I asked my mom what it was called. But I was taking, like, that big one that's, like, a big painkiller. And then also, like, I think four ibuprofen every however many hours. So I was on a lot of pain medicine. And that just made my blood sugar tank. Like, it dropped. And I know this because... Like, after a while, I didn't need as much, and then I wouldn't go low as much, and all of that. So, for some reason, the pain medicine made my blood sugar drop. I'm not exactly sure why. And this was super annoying, because I don't want to eat. My mouth is uncomfortable, but I keep going low and keep having to eat. And so that was really probably a, one of the main struggles <laughs> of recovering. So, be prepared for that. Be prepared to change your basal rates if you have a pump, and make yourself get less insulin. Maybe if you're on Lantus, you can take less Lantus, because at least for me, I went low a lot. So that was pretty much all I did diabetes wise, you know, I watched a lot of movies, I spent a lot of time on the computer, <laughs> laid around a lot, and ate a lot of soft foods. So I was very happy when I didn't have to do that again. Hopefully I don't go to a new dentist and they tell me I need my top ones out now because that would just be like, I would be so upset. But yeah, keep your blood sugar on the sugary side while you're in the appointment and then afterwards just be prepared for some lows. So if you're getting your wisdom teeth out soon, I hope this helps. Hopefully your experience is A-OK. -okay. And yeah, I don't like the dentist. But that's all. Bye. Shout out time. So today's shout out is for Mr. Mr. 9087. Wow, I'm dyslexic. It's Mr. Mr. 8097. Hello to you too, you asked me for a shout out so long ago, but here it is, hope you're doing great, and I will see you guys all next time with a brand new video. Okay, bye.